audio video. Hello, it's how to not to bring you another unboxing video. And today I will be unboxing the JVC camcorder GRD740 model, which I found um, lying around the back of my closet. Um, and I just thought I'll do a video to show you what we used to record videos on. Um, there's quite a bit of damage on the box, so I hope it's still working. So let's get it open. So here we have the JVC manual. I probably will need to have um, a quick read through that to remind myself how, how it works. Um, it's been a while. The last time I used this device was approximately, <laughs> was about 10 years ago. So I would need to have a quick read of the manual just to remind myself how the, um, how the machine works. And there's also um, something here about the battery life as well. Okay, moving on. So um, here we have the cables. Um, this is the AC adapter and the power cord will um, go in there. And this end here is the DC connector, which will go into the camcorder, directly into the camcorder to um, charge the battery, which will take approximately one, one and a half hours to fully charge. Here we have the audio video cable to connect to the DV or TV. And we also have a shoulder strap here, which I, I never really got to use. Um, the battery pack, which um, used to last approximately two hours, 15 minutes, um, is completely dead. Uh, and I think they do sell them on eBay for something like 18 pounds. Okay, um, there's nothing under there. I don't know what I was expecting to find, a £50 note. Okay, this is it, the mini DV camcorder, which I can easily hold with one hand. Um, this is the lens cap, which is already attached to the camera. And there we have the lens, which has a optical zoom uh, of uh, 34 and a maximum zoom of 800 uh, but the quality is somewhat uh, reduced also the front of the camera um, there's a sensor there and there's also um, the microphone speaker okay at the side here you have data which um, never seems to do anything when I press it um, and you have auto which sets the camcorder to automatically select the best settings for your environment. Ah, right there. The data button, um, having read the manual, the data button allows you to check the remaining battery life and the record time. So it does have a function. And over here is the viewfinder which can be pulled out. And uh, what you see here is the, um, I don't know if I'm saying it right, the, the dioptry adjustment control. So what does that do? Well, it helps focus on the object more clearly. To be honest, I've never used that before, so. Mm. Okay, over here we have the power switch where you can turn to select play or record mode. So just by pressing down on this blue button here, it will turn to select the record, play or off mode. And above that, um, concealed behind this rubber flap thing, um, connector cover, is the DC input connector and audio and video output connector. DC charge battery. So you've got the DC charge battery, audio, video, view on um, DVD TV. <laughs> And this is the LCD monitor. It has widescreen and you can fast forward, rewind and play by pressing on this button. And you also have the option to change the settings and you can adjust the screen size as well. Okay, I'll be showing you um, how that works in a moment. So first, I just want to quickly show you the DV output connector. They didn't provide the DV cable that slots in here but I am still able to view footage on my DVD and TV by using the AV cables. Um, the speaker is also hidden here as well. This uh, feature allows you to record still images that look like uh, photos by clicking this button. 
And this switch here allows you to zoom in or out. So that button also adjusts the uh, volume when you have put it on playback. The Mini DV camcorder was launched in 1995 and they were about 50% smaller than the previous models that came out in the 1980s. They also came with um, mini cassettes, um, HI8, which is a high band video 8 cassette. Okay, I'm just going to quickly set it up to see if it still works. Uh, I'm going to pop the battery in here. Um, as I mentioned before, I think the battery is completely dead, but I just want to show you how that operates, how it slots in and, and everything. But this little switch here also removes the uh, battery by clicking it here. And it will just slot out. Um, right underneath the camera is where we slot the cassette. It also has a tripod mounting socket. Okay, I'm now going to click on this to open. So that would normally pop out, but because I haven't got it um, charged in, I haven't got the power cord connected, um, it's not doing anything at the moment. Okay, so I'm just going to connect the power cord to the AC adapter, like so, and the DV connector goes in there. And we have a red light, which is always a good sign. Okay, get this open. It still works, which is a, a relief. Let me just take the lens cap off. And I'm just going to um, put an, an object in front of the lens so you can see um, the quality. So this is the um, mini DV cassette, which can store up to 30 to 40 minutes of film footage. And I'm going to pop that in there by clicking this button here. So the tape I just popped in is the last tape um, I used, which was about 10 years ago, as I mentioned before. So I'm just going to hit the play button and see what's on the tape. So we've got something out of Pirates of the Caribbean going on here. The picture quality is, um, isn't that bad, actually. Um, it's a bit grainy, but the colour is um, quite vibrant and um, it's not a bad picture. The picture quality looks better on the camcorder rather than through my, uh, my Lumix camera. And there's a close-up of, of an eye, which is uh, quite clear. So, on the monitor you can select to um, change the settings by clicking this button here. Um, you've got the VTR, which is, um, you can change the audio settings. Um, you can change the audio sound settings. Um, you've also got display, which allows you to control the time, date, and you can also change the, uh, the way you record the, um, the footage by selecting widescreen. And you've got a few more settings down there to choose from. Um, you can change the brightness. Well, there's not much settings. Uh, that's all you've got, really. And you've also got uh, blank search. So um, the camcorder can automatically start um, a reverse or forward search for a blank space. So it can t detect uh, a, blank, uh, a blank portion. Um, on your cassette. I also have a, a cleaning tape that I bought to clean the, the machine. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I will also be doing another video on how to transfer the, the, um, the old footage that I've got here to um, DVD. So watch out for that video. Okay, that's it. Bye for now.